Hello, in this video we're going to look at the exponential family of distributions and specifically the Bernoulli distribution inside this exponential family. Now this is a follow-up video from a, a video I did finding the mean and the variance of a generic exponential family. And what I want to do is show that the techniques that we used here for the general case also work for the specific cases. And so in this video if we could represent the density or the probably mass function in terms of this form then it's considered part of the exponential family and actually the second form which is called the canonical form really uh, is you know helps us out in finding the mean and the variance of these sufficient statistics so here is the Bernoulli random variable it takes on two values 0 and 1 if it's a 1 it takes on you know it, that happens with probability p and it takes on a zero with probability one minus p and it can and it can be more tersely written in this form p to the x one minus p to the one minus x so now to transform this into one of these we take we exponentiate it and log so we get this back but the log you know the product the log of products is the sum of the logs and then we can take the exponent out front on each of those. Then here, this log can be multiplied by x and then multiplied by 1. Well, the multiplied by 1 comes down here. And then the multiplied by x, we factor out an x. And then we have the log of p minus the log of 1 minus p but the minus means that div you're dividing so you get a p divided by 1 minus p times x and I like this form because now it's in this exponential form where the h of x is 1 this uh, eta of p is this piece here the sufficient statistic is x and the log partition is uh, minus log of 1 minus p. Remember we needed minus this capital A which is called the log partition. And so it, it's this. Now to write it in con canonical form we instead of calling this you know log of p over 1 minus p we just call it eta. Okay so it's eta times x and then this log partition is determined one so it equals this but so the whole thing integrates to one and it turns out that the log partition is log of one plus e to the eta and then when you plug in this piece here you know we get back this but once we have it in this form now we're going to take derivatives or partial derivatives of this log partition to come up with the mean so the mean of our sufficient statistic which in this case it's x is the partial or the derivative of the log partition with respect to eta and then well the log partition was this so the derivative of a log of this is you know it's one over that and then times the derivative of this and then that's zero and that's just e to the eta again so we get this now we plug in what eta equals and that was the log of p divided by 1 minus p and the e and the log cancel just leaving p over 1 minus p and here we're left with this now to combine this if we take the 1 minus p divided by 1 minus p we have like denominators and uh, the p's cancel leaving 1 over 1 minus p, invert multiply, we come up with p. And we know that the mean of a Bernoulli is p. So the probability of observing a 1. Now to find the variance of the sufficient statistic, which is x in this case, it's the second derivative of the log partition, which is this. Now we already found the, the first derivative which was this so we can kind of cheat and just put that there and then take the derivative of it again and then um, I like to just have one eta involved so if we 
multiply by minus or e to the minus eta divided by e to the minus eta then we get this piece here and then that comes up to this and the derivative of this is you take the minus out front then it's minus two times the derivative of the inside and you get this and you put it all back together you get this and now I'm going to change it back to a positive eta so take it times e to the two theta and so that means we get e to the theta here and then that can go in the squared and we get this now when we plug in our eta which is log of p over 1 minus p that cancels and then here and then we get this and that's squared invert and multiply it's p times 1 minus p and that's what we know to be the variance of a Bernoulli well that's all I have for today hopefully you enjoyed it if you did like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye